Axel, thank you for joining us on Town TV. We'll get on to the Southampton game in a minute, but first a look back at Brighton and a really good point for the team. Most definitely. I think uh, going to the Amex Stadium is, is definitely a difficult place to, to go and get a result. But uh, I think the lads grinded hard and um, at the end, we, we definitely deserved the point. Yeah, some good individual performances, a great team performance. You, you being one of those on an individual level, you must be really pleased with that. Definitely. I think um, a, lot, a lot of people know that Mitoma is an established Premier League player. He's, uh, he's been playing at a high level for a very long time. So uh, coming up against these players is something that um, I want to be doing more so in my career and, uh, you know, improving myself in, in 1v1 situations uh, and just doing my job for the team, really. Yeah, for you as an individual, must must be really pleased to be back playing Premier League football, given given your journey to this point. Definitely, I think um, every player can tell you that they always want to get to the top of their craft, and uh, being given the opportunity again to to do so for me has been very pleasing, and um, has been something I've worked for for a long time. So achieving something uh, <clears throat> like this is is always a, a player's dream, and um, you know now we look forward and, and see what what can come beyond. Yeah, four games in so far. Is the Premier League the same as the, the Premier League that you last played in a few years ago? Has the way the game's played changed at all, do you think? Um, I think it's different, especially um, being in a newly promoted team. I think at the times I was in the Premier League before, you know, you're sort of create, um, sort of top of the top or, or, you know, one of the stronger teams, you can say, on paper. Um, but obviously being with Ipswich, I think a lot of teams will come against us and think they can collect all three points. So that makes it very difficult because, you know, players are sort of relaxed and know, knowing what they can, um, say, deliver in a game against us. So it's, it's good for us. It keeps us on our toes, keeps us learning and, um, you know, uh, improving on our principles. Yeah, lots of players, though, in the, in the squad experiencing the Premier League for the first time. What do you think they've, they've made of it so far? How do you think they've done? I think they've done well. Um, obviously, there's still a long way to go, still a journey that we're on. Um, and it's definitely a major step up from the football that we've been used to. But um, I think uh, we'll definitely come out all the better for it come end of the season. Yeah, moving on now, Southampton up next, a, a team you know very well, obviously, two great games against them last season. You looking forward to this one? Uh, definitely. I think, um, you know, we can't underestimate Southampton thinking, OK, yeah, we know them, they're a familiar opponent. I think. Uh, the, the last time we played them was a very difficult game and um, I think a lot of people remember that game at Portman Road. Um, they have their qualities, um, we're familiar with their qualities and we're, we, you can say we sort of have a, a head start in knowing how to neutralise that. But, um, you know, I, I don't think anyone should be taking this as a light game and thinking we've automatically collected three points. You know, the league demands us that we, we should win this game to, to survive in this league. but. Um, you know, we just definitely played in full respects and we've been doing so in training and preparing well as if it was any other top team. Yeah, and both teams have obviously made additions and will have improved in the, in the months since that brilliant game in April. Definitely. So I think that they can hold a few twists and turns in the game and, um, you know, they could um, sort of surprise us with new elements of their play. But, um, you know, we spend a lot of time analysing teams and, and trying to figure out the best way to approach it. So it'll be no different for Southampton. Thank you, Axel. Good luck.